Hey guys, I'm back with my Mortal Triumph from Virgin Mobile. I just wanted to tell you guys I apologize for not making a video for a long time. I've been busy with work and whatnot, and the free time I do got, I've been playing Infamous 2, an epic game. Just got done with it, so now I can go back to making videos. Alright, first thing I just wanted to tell you guys is this video is going to be about uh, all the apps I've gotten since I haven't been making videos. So I just want to keep you guys up to date on all the cool things I got on my phone now. Alright, first of all, let's start off with the live wallpaper. It's called Fotile. You guys should check it out. It's pretty awesome. You transition from, from side to side, and it, it's in tiles, and it waves for you. See if it fades out, too. It's called Fotile, P-H-O-T-I-L-E. Just type that into the market, and you'll get it. And the background image I got is from Battlefield 3. You can change it to whatever the heck you want. Uh, but I really like Battlefield 3. If you see my other videos, I like to hype about it a lot. Tra uh, clock I got is Transparent Clock. It looks cool. It just fits with my uh, live wallpaper. And that widget right there, uh, a lot of people ask about that. It's just going to be on your phone. It's called the uh, Go to Widgets, and it's like power control or something like that. So I got my Go Launcher. Uh, I think I really like it because uh, it's a lot of stuff about it that I do like. And uh, I changed the transition effect from windmill to wave. That's pretty much it. Okay, here are the apps I got and since I um, last made videos. First one I got is Four Shared, and it's pretty much a uh, torrent to download any apps, music, whatever the heck you want, videos, movies, and um, it really works. It's a lot easier than looking it up on Google or, or anything like that. A lot of people recommend it to me, so I tried it out. And make sure to get Four Shared Mobile and not just Four Shared. Okay, Four Shared is just a, um, it'll just send you to, redirect you to a website on your page. Um, all you gotta do is just like search, click the menu button, search right there, and it's pretty easy. A uh, couple things I downloaded right now is Gingerbreak is to root your phone. It's pretty easy. I'll show you guys that. And also FPSE, which is a PlayStation emulator, PlayStation 1 emulator for your phone. And I'll show you guys that too. Okay, so the second thing I downloaded is Crackle. It's like it's exactly like Netflix. Uh, some of the stuff I mean you'll get you won't you'll get like a limited amount of things, but it's for free. You can also pay to get movies too, like brand new movies that are out, like uh, blockbuster titles and stuff like that. And all you gotta do is just go on your phone's web browser and type in crackle2.0.apk, and it's not gonna be the first link; it's gonna be the second link. And you just gotta click that. It'll take you to this website with a picture of it, and scroll down to Crackle APK XDA Developer Download Link, and you'll click it, and it'll just save it. Uh, make sure to get Opera Mobile. Uh, for the people that don't know, I haven't seen my other videos, and uh, that leads me to another thing. Uh, if you guys have questions, make sure to check out my videos before you ask me those questions, because it'll be a lot faster that way. It'll take me a long time to reply to you guys, because I'm, I'm busy or something, and you can easily answer for yourself. Just look at my other videos. Okay, I'll show you guys the PlayStation emulator right now, and it's called FPSE. People recommend it um, PSX for Droid, but I looked at FPSE. I looked online and I found this one. It's a lot fa faster than that one and it runs so smooth. I've got a game playing right now. It's uh, Driver, Driver 2. And it's not going to be as easy as downloading ROMs on. Um, it's not going to be as easy as downloading ROMs on N64. Oh, geez, that's loud. Okay. Yeah, it's not that easy. You have to, there's a process for it, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And don't worry, you don't have to play it with the tiny screen the entire time. You just turn it horizontal, and bam. Yeah, and you can play like that too. It runs so smooth. See that? Yep. I'm trying to keep this video short, but I might do a process on it, but the way I found out how to do it is by looking at a YouTube video and I'll link that uh, below so you guys can check that out for yourselves and if you guys still need help maybe I'll make a video later okay next thing I have is barnacle tether and you can just download that from um, I think I can download it from 4Shared I'm not sure if you can't find it on there just go to Google on your phone and type in barnacle tether and you'll get a free one you have to pay for that uh, but the one I found I think it was from XDA or 4Shared I don't remember but the only way you can Wi-Fi tether your phone is to go to gingerbreak you have to root your phone 
and I found that directly from Foreshared. I showed you guys uh, earlier in the video. I had two downloads, and one of them was Gingerbreak, and the other one was uh, FPSC, which was the PlayStation uh, emulator. So, and all you got to do is download that, and it, it, it asks you to have a SD card, and also you have to have USB debugging. Okay, if you guys don't know what that is, I mean you can just type that into YouTube, and I'll show you how to do that. So. And you just gotta click root your device. I've already got it rooted, so I don't want to do that. And root your device, and that's pretty much it. All you need is just root your device, and bam. And what what that means when you root your device is just uh, you're more capable of doing more things on your phone. I don't mess with any ROMs. I don't change anything up. The only reason I did that is because I wanted Wi-Fi tether, and that's the best way to get it. Okay. Uh, next thing I got is free to YouTube. You can download this straight from the market. It's for free. And what you can do on that is download YouTube videos, any YouTube video that you want, that you see you want to download. Just go to this thing and uh, let's see. Sorry. Hold it. View online to see what video it is. Download it as a video or you can download it as an MP3, which I really like. So if you see a music video and you just want the song from it, you can just download it as an MP3. Next thing, I wanted to show you guys my keyboard, uh, Swift Key X, and I got this for free uh, from Amazon App Store, but I think it's the best, well, it's, it's my opinion, but I think it's like one of the best keyboards, I'll show you guys how it works, it's like this, it kind of reminds me of the um, iPhone one, and it like has this like smart tracking so say if one time I type the car uh, went over the bridge I can just type in T and it'll say the in the middle and I can press space and it'll say car so it just like remembers what you've typed before I guess that sometimes I can't be good if someone's going through your phone but anyways um I have also got team viewer and I'll show you guys what that is I'll pause the video here and I'll log into my account and everything and I'll show you guys what it is Alright, so here's what it is. It pretty much shows you your laptop on your phone. So, you see that? It's pretty awesome. I really like this app when I'm watching movies and stuff like that. You can just lay back on your couch and do that, or you're doing a PowerPoint presentation. And you can do anything on this phone. And see, there's not that much lag. There's a little bit, but I mean, you can barely notice it. You can open up a web page and everything you want. But two things you have to do for this app is download this from the market, Team Viewer. And the second thing you have to do is also download it onto your laptop. And all you gotta do is go to Google and type in Team Viewer and that's that. And it's pretty easy. And I'll teach you how to do everything. But yeah. So that's a really cool app. And finally I just wanted to show you guys the market that I got now. I mean I didn't do anything, this was a complete accident. Um all I did was type in this right here success as compatibility and it took me to the market on the web instead of uh, like you can look up Google right now and type in Android market and they'll show you how the market looks but and then like that's all I did on my phone and it accidentally I just updated it and I don't know if yours market's gonna look like mine but uh, well one thing I wanted to show you guys about the six access compatibility it shows if your phone's compatible with uh, cause there, there's people working on PlayStation 3 controllers for your phones like the Wii controller for your phone and um, I'm going to try that out and if I get it working I'll show you guys how to do it so here's how my market looks like I don't know if yours, yours is updated too but mine wasn't mine was like the green thing on top where you can transition from there's like one two and three things but this is a lot cooler it's more user friendly too so you can just go to games and I'll show you a whole bunch of games and one thing I like about it there's like uh you can just scroll left, right. There's also a section for developers and stuff, or it says staff picks. I'm I'm guessing. See right there, staff picks. I'm guessing the people that work with at Google. So yeah, and it shows you like all the popular apps and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. All right, I think that's that's pretty much it. That's what I got for you guys. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions for the stuff I have on here. So if I haven't answered those questions, make sure to just look on YouTube for them. But if you guys still can't find anything, then you can come ask me. Uh, and I really appreciate all the subscribers and stuff. I just do this for helping you guys out and showing off my apps because I actually enjoy doing this.